this afternoon, three of our schools, uh, Barking Abbey, Eastbury and Elutech, had a quite a difficult project, I think, to design a housing development with, with ten houses on a certain footprint. And um, I don't know how they managed it in the time. They did have a site visit to see, you know, to get some practical experience. And they also had the opportunity to do some mock interviews. So they had a bit of a chance to practice speaking in front of judges. But they've been doing this in the council chamber, which is quite a daunting environment. And um, I know I would have struggled at their age to do something like this, but I was immensely impressed by the cre creativity they've shown in their designs and, and the way they both presented and answered the judges' very difficult and penetrating questions. I enjoyed all the presentations. I, th I think they all had winning elements. And of course, any young person who takes part in something like this and sees a project like this through is, is a winner. They're all winners in my view. Over 90% of our schools are, are good or outstanding. We're getting the best ever GCSE and A-level results that we've ever had. We've got lots of young people going on to the best universities and getting very good apprenticeships. But it's not just about academic success. It's great to see young people showing practical vocational skills that they've shown this afternoon in, in these projects, you know, sponsored by the CITB, the Construction Industry Training Board, and, and supported by judges from a host of very well-known national property developers and building companies.